So Pibbles, Jay Dog back to answer some more goddamn questions. And fuck me, dog is fucking pissed. So we'll see how these goddamn video well videos. Dog's gotta work fucking overtime today on the goddamn vids. Check this shit out. Laptop fucking dick me. My yesterday's goddamn video, I go to listen to it back. Glad I did, too, because otherwise I would post on YouTube. No fucking sound. No idea why. Didn't did nothing different. It's that fucking bastard in the sky always kicking the dog down. Fuck him and his only bastard son, goddammit. And then today's video, go to record it. Was, uh, and, man, it was a good one, too. It had some good dog rants. That people were like, fucking, uh corrupted file or whatever when I go to open on my laptop. Just didn't, just didn't even take, like, nothing. Fuck me dead. Put a, put a fucking, uh, when I'm, I got the recording screen right now, put a fucking error up or no sound or some type of fucking alert, not when I'm done. Fuck me dead. Because like I said, I don't edit this. I don't take take twos. Now I gotta, I don't remember what the fuck I said, so goddamn, gotta re-fucking say it. Now I don't like repeating myself as is. Already gotta repeat myself half the time with half these fucking jackasses asking the same goddamn stupid ass motherfucking shit. And speaking of that, too, suck a dick and die if you got a problem with the goddamn paid questions. What am I fucking supposed to do? I told the, I gave the goddamn disclaimer why. Yeah, it looks a bit fucking canoe. Looks a bit fucking jerk. But I've had literally three emails sent to service at hellsheadbangers.com. Comments or anything like that. It's questions, hells, questions, service at hellsheadbangers.com. That's it. People are surprised, too, sometimes. Man, is this really j Dog? Fuck yeah, it is. What do you think? This is some goddamn fucking McDonald's ass corporation? So it's, it's me, Easy E, C Dog, and we have some employees, goddammit. It's not a big operation. Mama Pop Shop, brah, brah. So, yeah, I do the goddamn emails, and I've had three emails for sure. People bitching, whining, and crying, fucking on the rag that goddamn day. That, dude, you didn't answer my question in comments. What the fuck? I asked you a few times. I was like, dude, I can't see it fucking all. Not to mention, all vids are getting well over 3,000 vids. Well, you know, views per, per 24 hours in the last, at least the last nine days worth, which is, keep it up. So, uh, I was like, the only way I can guarantee your question answered, if it means that goddamn much to you, is PayPal to my personal email. Do not light my personal email up with dumb shit either. I ain't got time for it. PayPal it, and, uh, if it, if, and put in the notes section of the PayPal the question. Or if, the, if it's too long to type in, uh, send me a separate email to that same email. Hey, dog, dog just PayPal'd you. Here's my question. That way, if it's that a goddamn important, and not to mention, dude, in the comments, I was running out of shit to answer anyways. It's just dumb shit. Hey, J-Dog, what do you think of cattle decapitation? First off, who gives a fuck if J-Dog likes to cattle decapitation? If it comes up, it comes up organically in the conversation. And second off, I've answered that seven fucking times. So there's, just, again, and not to mention, what the fuck difference does it make? You're sitting here watching questions get an answer what what difference does it make what format it comes from? And I don't even monetize this goddamn video these goddamn videos, so you don't have to sit through those dumb ass Applebee's. So fucking suck a dick and I'm gonna flip over your canoe. Anyways, first one uh was a goddamn paid question. It was from Mike Shaw. Probably would have my first take probably would have been a little bit better for you, bro. But <laughs> first off, bro, his first one and he uh, messaged it. Um he had some uh, review videos, which I did watch them, and I messaged him. They didn't work. He, I'm knocking this out for you, Mike. Uh, the uh, first one too. You were the one that sent me um, the link didn't work, and I oh I did the video for you. That you're that guy. Yeah, I did the video for you, and the link wouldn't work, so you resent it to me now. And I did watch it. God damn, don't know why you want me to review that. That was some bad shit. But I'll get to that in a second. Uh, but it's it's Mike Violet. <laughs> like, dude, I don't know who Mike Shaw is. Granted, I, I just never seen your uh, last name, so um, or at least not to my knowledge. So I know you by Mike Violet. So not when he said that, I was like, oh well, yeah, now I know who it is. Anyways, what his fucking goddamn question slash somewhat of a review? Uh, well, just get my opinion on it, anyways. Um, J Dog, what do you think is gayer, Rob Halford and Elton John doing a duet while playing the piano together in the nude, <laughs> or someone get going to a Slipknot concert? Legit, legitimately hyped up. <laughs> I can picture that now. <coughs> Dude, I got to go with the goddamn not concert, without a fucking doubt. Because, um, I mean, by definition, <laughs> Rob Meltzer and Elton John, the nude, I damn sure don't want to see that. But I don't want to see any fucking dudes in the nude. The dog, dog's tits and ass only over here, bra, bra, no booty for him. So, um, 
by definition, the Rob Halford Elton job, but I don't classify, because I don't give a shit what people do, especially grown men and stuff like that. So, I mean, I know a lot of guys that get all in an outrage about who another man likes. Well, what, when you really break it down, why do you care? Now, the only thing I don't like about it is the wimpification of the public that's coming with it, the cancel culture that's coming with it. And if the dude was like that fucking hit on me or grab my ass, which has never happened, by the way, then yeah, I wouldn't like that either. But that's never, that's never happened. If they just straight up, they like dudes and they're a fuck. That's why Rob, I think that's kind of why what Rob Halford gets a pass um, in the metal scene, which is funny because I know some absolute, if you want to call them bigots, <laughs> against gays and shit like that, but yet they like Rob Halford. I was like, that makes no goddamn sense. Like, they support it. They, I'm not mentioning any names. They refuse to go anywhere or do anything that has, oh, dude, that, that's run by a gay guy. It's like, wait, you like Judas Priest, so how does that make any fucking sense? But, no, I think the one, one of the reasons, deep down, they might get a pass, which I got, because Halford's kind of a man about it. He's not some little sissy-ass fucking, uh, I want to cancel you. You can't call me out. You can't say yes. Blah, 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 blah. Can't, all that bullshit. He's not like that. He's actually fucking still goddamn fucking manly. So, but the way I looked at it for them, why well, I didn't care as long as they didn't meet my criteria, the pussy shit, the cancel shit is, um, dude, I just looked at it. It's like, dude, when I'm at a party and there's like, there's like 15 people there. Right. And the slack fuck that ordered the goddamn pizza. He only ordered two large pizzas. I'm like, fuck, I'm counting it. Fucking, there's there's twelve slices per piece tw tw per box. It's twenty four slices. There's fifteen pe people here. That's less than two slices of two slices of pizza per person. That sucks, bro, bro. Man, I'm just gonna get a goddamn. I came to this goddamn party that I didn't want to come to. By the way, I just get one slice of uh pizza and maybe a fucking handful of goddamn Doritos. That sucks. So what is the dog hope? Man, half these motherfuckers don't like pizza. Fuck yeah, more pizza for me. That's the way I see it. I see a gay guy as long as they ain't fucking uh. Fucking up my criteria and being a fucking pussy about it, trying to cancel the dog, cancel fucking cancel anyone because that's anti-America, goddamn it. Um, more pussy for the dog. That's the way I goddamn see it. I always looked at it that way. So that because I remember specifically think that my vocational program, uh, twelfth grade, we had a, a it was a small class. There's only two girls and there was uh, nine dudes, counting me. It's a small class, right? Um, took a graphic arts and uh, two of the girls, J Dog was like, fuck yeah. He, he, he had hit that and uh, the young dog days and one of the dudes in our class was gay and I'm like fuck yeah man that that subtracts one get one less <laughs> one more opportunity for the dog so I've always looked at it that way that I, it was because the guy himself I was like I had no problem with him he, he, he didn't grab my ass didn't fucking try to rub my junk anyways uh, yeah dude the not for the not dude that's as homo as it gets and yeah they're hyped and think it's in the and they think it's heavy they think they're in the loop they think they're in the cool club they think they fucking listen to metal but yet they never heard fucking Halloween's Wall, Walls of Jericho one of the most metal albums of all motherfucking time god damn it if you don't know that sign the fuck off tune out get that fucking shirt off you're wearing and brush up on it front to back with the lyrics grind into your goddamn head Make sure you pick up a physical copy. Then there's digital poser shit only. And then you can call yourself a goddamn metalist. Till then, you ain't in, you ain't fucking metal. You damn sure ain't. If, you, if, you, if the metal you're listening to is Slipknot, nah, bro, bro. What's happening the Pantera? Next is Tool. Do you like Drowning Pool, dude? Oh, man, I get down with some stained on my mellow days. Canoe, motherfucking central. Also, can you give this amazing and overdue head split promo a review? Head split and HA are the best distros around, in my retarded opinion. Mm, mm, that's an educated opinion, in my book, bye bye. Hales will keep on shitting on the canoes. Oh, yeah. Shit on them, flip them, smash them, and fucking piss all over the fucking remains. Uh, yeah, so I went over. He sent me the uh, link. And I'm going to pull a second link for his uh, things. He messaged it to me. But um, Head Split Records, go check out his promo. It's fucking awesome. It's got Hells One Beat. For sure. Not for sure. Ours was good, too. I actually went and rewatched it. I was like, that motherfucking thing's still up on YouTube? I was like, I figured it. I mean, I figured it was. I just, uh, I haven't just haven't watched it in any years. What do you mean I've watched it in years, J-Dog? What do you think? I sit around and just watch my own goddamn shit? Fuck no, I don't. Bye-bye. Seen it a few times back in the day, and that was it. Um, But the Head Split one, it's called Head Split Records Fall Promo 2023. I thought it was fucking great, man. I was thoroughly entertained. I could think I could see the only complaints. Again, all these fucking pussy boys, especially in my comments too, they complain about everything. Goddamn bitches having uh, can't can't make shit. Can never win the goddamn it. Can't make everyone happy, right? Give you a free video every fucking morning, goddamn it. That still ain't good enough. 
You ain't got enough. So I'm just, if someone's going to complain about one of your goddamn videos, which there will be, is it was on it for being a, like an infomercial. It was a pinch long. I enjoyed it. I could I could have sat through 10 minutes. I don't care. I'm just saying I can see the fuck again. The tampon boys coming in and saying, that's a really long commercial. And they have to watch it. Fuck face. You watch the first 30 seconds and shut it off. Or fast forward. No one, no one fucking held a gun to your goddamn dumbass fucking head that needs to be blown all over the sidewalk anyways. Said to watch it. But... Very funny, very entertaining. <laughs> I love the mascot. Is that you? Again, it's I, I feel like that guy. But yeah, it's, it's a legitimate question. Um, people asking for the hells. Was that you, J Dog, or who was that? Was that Easy E in the mask? For and those the full disclosure for ours, it was Craig, to my knowledge, uh, that did it. And then I'm pretty sure Easy E recorded it. I did not know J Dog because I wasn't fucking there. They did in the goddamn evening. Dog, dog was at the fucking gym or in bed. Um, they worked later hours. I worked goddamn during the days. So I wasn't there during the fucking take of it. It wasn't like with well, this big elaborate, like he wasn't there during the big commercial. It wasn't like this big elaborate talk about it. It was, it was easy. E and Craig kind of talked about the side and just one day they did it. It wasn't like, Oh, this thing in the making, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I wonder for myself. I see the guy running around throwing tapes at fucking people. <laughs> it was fucking funny, man. It was cool. Uh, and that, you got to keep that as your mascot. I fucking did, j Dog. Oh, well, I, I don't know. Okay, that's your mascot. Cool. And, uh, I'm going to ask the, uh, same question that everybody asked me. What's, uh, what's the hell's mascot name? <coughs> <coughs> Never officially fucking named him, so I don't know if you did, uh, yourself if you named your goddamn guy. But he looked cool as hell, but I wonder, is that, is that Dylan under the, uh, skeleton guy? That guy's got sunglasses on, too. <laughs> like, I'm picturing, like... Shit, he's got a mask on, because I remember during Halloween times, you're wearing a mask, right? It's a little hard to see outside of the mask, and you're like, oh, shit, mask. Plus, he's got sunglasses on, so I wonder how the sunglasses uh, stay on, too. Does he kind of, like, super glue them on there? Because I can see him kind of, like, falling off, because he's, like, jumping around and shit. And uh, so I was wondering about that, but he, unless he looked cool, I liked it, man. It kind of was like a goddamn, reminded me of, like, Vic Rattleline or something, you know what I mean? From uh, Megadeth, their, their mascot. Thought it was fucking awesome, dude. Thoroughly fucking enjoyed it, and I, I commented on the goddamn video, so go over to it if you want to, uh, hey, hey, J-Dog sent me. Fuck yeah, give Dylan some goddamn love. Definitely one of the coolest motherfuckers in the scene. A true head there. What does he think of Slipknot, dog? I don't need to ask him. I have a pretty goddamn good feeling he's got a similar fucking stance as the dog on goddamn Slipknot. As a matter of fact, I'd go out and actually Dylan can put in the comments. I would have to venture to, to believe that 80% of the shit I say when calling out the canoes, calling out the posers, you don't know this record, like, what? Just just dumb shit, just that, that people bring up, jumping up and down at shows, fucking just the, the, the absolute mass of canoes. Watch every the Pantera. I think majority of the dog's lines that he says, I would, I would say, and I can never ask him, that Dylan probably agrees with 80% of this. Could be wrong. Could be totally like, dude, not really, man. I just watch it. I just watch your goddamn channel because you're so goddamn stupid and talk out of your ass. That's fucking funny. Fair enough. Then I stand corrected. Uh, but I would, a, a medalist like him, that you could just fucking, uh, you just, dude, you just, you could just feel the metalized blood. You know, it's, it's you know, it's, uh, it's not a front. It's not just a business. I, 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 I'd bet money that he has very, very similar stances. Put it to you this way, dude. He's not going to, whenever he's going to a show himself, he ain't doing the goddamn crab walk. He ain't fucking jumping up and down. He ain't wearing no goddamn dumbass sports jersey to a show. He damn sure wasn't on stage. I know. Seen him. Watched him. Goddamn walkie. They were fan fucking tense. Who'd you see, J-Dog? Head split records. Cemetery Lowe's. Dumbass. Get your head out of your ass. Metal as fuck. Goddamn it. So yeah, the video was great. Go and give uh, Dilly some fucking love. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And um, fuck, I, and not that it'll ever happen. Not that, you know, never say never. I'd be up for working for, uh, let's do a Hells video together, Dylan. You get more creative than I am. You grab that's next time you're in Cleveland, which that could be as, probably as likely as next time I'm in your town. Where are you at, Oregon? Or forget where you're at. I forget what state you're at. Over there. Oh, over towards more west. That's for damn sure. And then Mike also wanted me, uh, you guys, to do this was just pink panty wearing central. Uh, he wanted me to review. This was uh, the one the link he gave broken that I did a couple days ago. Hardy dash radio song featuring Jeremy McKinnon lyric video. I was kind of confused why um why he wanted me to review this. I just I was kind of just listening and I'm like, this is just some sissy ass, pansy ass fucking country that sucks dick. Like at least like, 
granted, I, I don't like the bang up on country too much because it's like my stance was always like, take my dad or my mom or my, my, my grandma, and grandpa, or Annie's uncles, or, or just regular people that literally have no idea what seven churches is cannibal fucking who don't know death metal, right? Don't know black metal news. I'm like that shit sucks. It's like, well, you're not really caught. Your opinion on the topic is irrelevant because you have no, no interest in it whatsoever. You don't understand it. That's where I stand on country raps like that. I try not to bang up on it too hard. I'll poke fun because that's what I do. And that's what I like to do. Um, my opinion on country is kind of irrelevant. I'm, I never followed that scene. I don't understand it. To me, it doesn't make sense. I, I hear it. It just sounds like some whining, and crying, talking about fucking bailing hay and shucking corn. No interest in the goddamn dog. I'm in the darkness and evil, goddamn it. Metal and the devil. But the only country I could say I enjoyed some songs, I didn't even like all of them, but I did like a good handful of them. Not that I've heard all of them, but I've heard a lot of them, is the band The Coffin Shakers. Did like that. From Here to Hell, I thought that was a great song. And a few others, and I'm uh, getting that goddamn dog brain fog. I can't think of the song once I hit, heard them. I don't know uh, the names. So he sends me this country thing, and it's I don't know why he specifically wanted me to review that. Like my question is, the mic put it in the comments. I know you do watch every morning. Usually, comment, I think you comment every single video too. Um, is there some relevance to this in the metal scene, or relevance to? Uh, think something I've said or somebody said or commented on, or just let me know why you, but my review on it, I'm like, Dude. when I listen, if you just want raw, oh no, I just heard it. I thought it was funny. One with the dog thinks. The dog. the dog hears shit like that. Again, I've got the fancy links for you. And I'm not putting some fucking, some, some twink shit on description on my goddamn fucking thing. Just type it in goddamn YouTube. Hardy, H-A-R-D-Y. Dash, well, space, dash, then space again, radio song, all in caps, parentheses, featuring Jeremy McKinnon, whoever the fuck that, who? I don't know who the fuck that is. And then in parentheses from that, lyric video. That's what he sent me. Search a goddamn, I'll probably be the first thing to pop up. I I'm listening to it and I'm just like, okay. What does the dog think of this musically? If I heard a nine-year-old girl listen to it, I'm like, yeah, that's cute. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, she likes her music. Next is her goddamn in sync. Next is her Backstreet Boys. Makes sense. Here's the problem. Problem is, there's grown men that call themselves men, but they definitely have a fucking pink goddamn thong up there wedged up that those ass cheeks just the way they like it. For sure, low testosterone, high estrogen too, of course, goddamn it. Pink nail polish wearing, just fucking bitch boys that call themselves men. There is no grown man that should be listening to that. Here's the problem. They do. How do I know? Granted, I have never met anyone that listened to that particular canoe ass fucking shit. Maybe I have accidentally. But dude, I've literally been on the road. I'm sure all you have too. Where, you know, on a hot summer fucking day, you're driving down. Windows are fucking down. Their windows are down. And you're at a stoplight, right? Or at a stop sign, whatever, at a stop for a second. And you hear some blasting fucking music. You hear back streets, back, oh yeah, something of that nature, right? Complete fucking little girl shit. And you're like, oh, what pops in your mind? Oh, car next to me has got to be a goddamn, you know, 35-year-old soccer mom. She's got a car full of fucking uh, girls going to soccer practice, you know, seven, eight, nine years old. That's what they're doing. They're all dancing in the back. Makes sense. Do this. It's a guy in a fucking pickup truck who thinks he's tough. And you're not tough if you drive a drive truck, too. That's another thing that makes fucking dogs nads itch. By himself, 45 plus, full beard, grown man, looks like a construction worker to me. Blasting it. With pride. What the fuck? Dude. Forget the death metal spirit. Forget darkness and evil. Forget canoe crushing. Why would any dude be listening to that? 
Dude, if, if you're 45 and shit, okay, you don't like metal, you don't even like the fucking more uh, classic shit, the overkills, the high ratchets, the sacred goddamn motherfucking Reich. Do not forget about the Reich. Ignorance, one of the greatest trash records of all motherfucking time. That's right, I said it, goddamn it. Early Slayer, early Metallica, early Megadeth. You're not in any of that. Fine. Fucking fine, skis. Fucking fine. Well, minimally, what I expect you to be listening to is ZZ Top, Van Halen, cl classic rock shit, brah, brah. What, don't like nothing by Black Sabbath, Iron Man, that sucks. Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, that's a fucking turd. Minimally, I expect you to like that. Dude, put it to you this way. Even my dad doesn't like death metal at all. He's definitely monstrosity who? He doesn't know what the fuck that shit is. And when he heard it, ah, shut up those goddamn screaming demons. His exact words is a fucking goddamn kid when we were kids. Even he would be, dude, man, man, what the fuck is this guy listening to? What the hell is, what the hell are we listening to? That would be his line, right? I can hear it rocking right now. Or if I was to ask my dad, say my dad was sitting in my car right next to me. Again, the no death metal metal spirit whatsoever. Se seven what? Doesn't know, right? 100% doesn't know. Sit in the car next to me, and he hears this fucking goddamn twinker. Next door, next to me, I'm like, Dad, what, what, uh, you like this kind of music? What do you think? Hell no, I don't like. What, why the hell would I want to listen to that? That would be his response. That's the kind of shit. Fucking, what is this fucking garbage fucking called? Goddamn fucking bozo ass pussy ass shit. Hardy, but he's hard for another fucking dude. No problem. Loves it, rah rah. Under those goddamn pink panties. That's what I goddamn thought to think of Hardy. How's my motherfucking aim, devils? Go search it. Is dog about fucking rights? Come search, you know what the fuck it is. But the dog about to get answered right in the morning later, goddammit. 